rules. Um, please mute yourself. I'm starting. Today, we are starting our broadcast. Our internet is slow, and I will have a few introductory words. Maybe half an hour. Um, so today is uh, 7th of June, and we have our typical webinar. And we have a few, few events which, uh, which are very profound. Uh, one is that the number of speakers of uh, who, who people who speak galactic languages grows really fast. Almost everyone who's on this webinar starts to speak those languages. This is amazing. Uh, so it is like a, a miracle in itself. It's not, you know, initially I was thinking that we attract people who speak languages, but no, people first come and then they start speaking. That's cool. And you know the people who I saw from the very beginning, they they just pop up and start speaking. Especially when it's uh, a free chat and they're not recorded, then I can film more of them. But I I, I invite you to, and I urge you, what's the word? Invite you to go on record because you help others. There is. Mm -hmm. Tens of thousands like you people who don't know what they are and are very confused. They have these languages. They think they go crazy. By giving them the, your example, you help them. Yes. All right. Mm. The word is implore. We implore you. Implore. Thank you. Yes. Uh, there, there was a Russian book written about 55 years ago. It wasn't unpublished for half for about another thirty years, but we had it in handwritten copies or typed copies. It was called Geese and Swines by Strugatsky. And it described exactly what happens now. Slow. He describes exactly that phenomenon. Uh, people start mutating. You guys are mutants. You just transform into new species. That's how profound it is. People become telepathic, and people become start speaking galactic languages. People start channeling. That is something completely new. That's the next step of, of ascension. Ascension has multiple steps, but this is the <laughs> essence of ascension. Right. <laughs> and that was in that book. And so I was primed, primed back then, not 55 years ago, but you know about 30 years ago I was primed for that. And I read it several times. It was so weird for me because. You, uh, you look at them, at these people, from the point of view of mainstream person, and you're scared. But then you think, maybe it's, there is something there, and you go there, and you kind of transform yourself, and now you look at the person which is a new humanity, and it's not weird, it's, it's normal. <clears throat> and the strange thing what Strogatsky wrote was that these people, they didn't involve themselves in any mainstream things. They kind of just went away and ignored it. You know, that was written 55 years ago, but that's what happens now. Uh, I, I urge you, go get the jobs, you know, become involved, transform the humanity. But also there is that quality where you can just form your own communities and be, be uh, separate from the humanity. And here is another point, I guess, it links really well together, is that it looks like by today, the, our community became self-sustainable, self-sufficient. Even, even if Jim and I stopped these broadcasts, enough of you already linked separately outside of this site, so you will be able to continue. That is a major checkmark, major accomplishment. That was yeah. the goal. We want to be grassroots community. We lead the way, we pave the way, but at some point, you have to be able to, you know, if somebody closes our sites, you still have the ways to connect. <coughs> right now, mm -hmm. there is a, only one group on Skype. Make mm -hmm. more groups, but there is a nice, vibrant, vibrant group on Skype. If you are not part of it, contact one of us, some, some of the main people over these faces, and almost 70% of these faces are already in this group. So ask them to include you, and that's how it works. It's, it's independent. It's, there is no center. Anyone can... Who is part of the group can include you. Hmm. Uh, there is a group on, on Facebook, and there is group a group on Google Hangouts or Google Plus. It's the same thing. Google Plus. On uh, Google Plus, it's so weird. It's almost as bad as, as uh, Facebook or worse in terms of <laughs> user friendliness. But 
it seems to be working. People kind of get around all this trouble there and live there. And uh, I, I invite you go follow us on Google Plus and create your own per person to person connection. Follow not only human calling, follow for your friends, make one to one connections, exchange your phone numbers, exchange your emails, Skype addresses. So you are linked not through the hub, not via the hub, not through the hub, but one to one down below or up below, anywhere below. So for this one-to-one -one connection, that is absolutely essential. And one of those connections was Franciszek inviting Roxy, and I think that is another breakthrough. Roxy is, is so knowledgeable. He knows about stuff out there a lot. Mm. I, I wouldn't compare him, but I wish to compare him. He, he's one of the top people who knows stuff out there. He knows languages. He has been around. He has connections. He can channel, but he also understands. He's not only the phone. He is also the person on the phone. Mm -hmm. And he has been around for quite a while, I think, more longer than we have. So Roxy is part of our hangouts, <laughs> and he loves just to hang out, and he doesn't care if it's recorded or not. Not not like me. I want it to be published. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he yes, I invited him to join the site, and he joined the site. He is now a manager on the uh, Hukula Chat YouTube channel. So contact him, get in touch with each other and with other light workers, and uh, make him part. Make Roxy. Did I say he? She. Uh, he or she. Make her part of the of the. Uh, Community. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, has to be. Uh, it would be nice if you were helping that. Make him feel, make her feel ho home. Mm -hmm. All right. Next, uh, I started a new channel for hangouts, uh, which I called Hukola Ch YouTube channel. Uh, I. Uh, Announced, I invited about seven members, seven members to be administrators, managers on this channel, so you can start your own hangouts. So now we, we already have three channels. One is for mainstream human colony, the ones which we are doing right <coughs> now, and it's kind of you know how it works. That that's our typical way of presenting things, organized, and it's like a TV show. There is a host, there is a channeler, and we talk to, the, to people and uh, we invite others to talk. Uh, there is Nick's channel where Nick is organizing in the way he likes it. And there is, there is now this uh, Hukola chat, Hukola chat uh, channel where people just hang out and I invite you to hang out there and you can start your hangouts as many as you wish. You can do parallel hangouts if you like. Uh, so that's less, mm -hmm. uh, more relaxed, and uh, but I, I uh, uh, what is that word? Invite you to uh, mm -hmm. you had a word. Implore. Uh, implore. I don't know that word. Implore you to uh, uh, publish. Do it on record. Click that start broadcast button because then you help others. Mm -hmm. Be brave and share. Uh, broadcasting committee. I mean, all of that requires some coordination. Oh, it doesn't. There is a lot of people who wish it to be all grassroots and they're partisans. Is it a good word? There is another word. Uh, Gorillas. Yeah, gorilla is a good word. No. No. Gorilla has a negative in uh, connotation. Independent artists. They want yes, to be independent nights, lonely nights, and. Nick is one of them. He becomes really upset when we talk about organization. And uh, I feel like Nick. I, all my life I was doing that. Mainstream, if there is organization, I'll step out of it and be independent. You know, whatever is uh, communist, young communist organization in Russia or, you know, all other things. And the thing I know for sure, when you step out of organization, you just lose protection. You just become... Somebody said, Max, it's really... Dangerous to stand near you. All lightnings coming to you, and you just be near you, you can be hit. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very very true about any lonely night. You know, if you step out of organization, you get all these kind of things. You know, if you go into, uh, say, you have the protection of this community, and it's extremely pure, and you take it as given, try to set up the, a branch, a franchise of this community on one of the light worker sites, and you immediately start to be attacked. <laughs> by people. I know it's probably, you know, mm -hmm. that's experience. I don't attract the danger, but that's what I experience. So, mm -hmm. so just be prepared, you know. When I created this purified site, because, you know, it, for me it was important to make it separate, uh, my own WordPress site, so I can block anyone at will. Right? And that's why it's so pure. You, you have this hangouts, there is no one bad comes, no one brings you trouble and uh, that is very nice but now we go outside be prepared and it's take it as given don't be surprised that uh, people attack you and on light worker sites it's very interesting very few people attack you from mainstream <coughs> position they attack you from the position that their gods are better than our gods or their extraterrestrials are true and our extraterrestrials are wrong <laughs> or untrue or I misinterpret the law of attraction or some other way so so they just fight, you know, and typically don't even listen to what they say. You know, many of them are just come there to fight. Yes, you're. We're um, striving for a positive and positive intentioned uh, future. And those that want to fight, believe it or not, that's pretty negative. So we just want to move forward in our positive intentions and. And I wouldn't even give credence to anybody that wants to say that they're better or that we're not telling the truth or whatever it is that they want to say, just because they're wanting attention, and if you don't give it to them, they'll go away. So basically, that's what it's all about. They want to make make themselves more glorified, and, well, if they want to do that, that's fine. But that's not what I'm here for. And many of us are like that as well. Uh, I mean, we are looking at them as a mirror. I always, I often mm -hmm. uh, behave like that lonely night. I, mm -hmm. I, I have my truth, and I really listen. I mostly speak. That's what mm -hmm. I'm doing right now, right? Right. <laughs> so there is many of you, like, uh, I wouldn't name name the names, but there are many of you are who are leaders and who are very independent thinking. Um, yes. So now we're at the stage where. The community will go no matter what. If I'm here or I'm not here, it will continue. That is a very happy moment. Now, I'm still inviting to support us in any every possible way and through donations as well. So what is our role, my role right now is I want to expand it. Right now we have 257 subscribers here on that site. And I wanted, and we have about 100 to 200 views per video in the first couple of weeks. And I wanted to grow much more. That's my my mission at the moment. That's my highest excitement. I really want to do it, to make it way bigger. Way, 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 way bigger. Okay. And, and I now understand it. It develops outside of my control. You know, I can only block people on the site or make people admins or things like that. I can start new initiatives, but it is already out of my hands. It's already happening. So. So if you want to support that mission of Jim and I, um, support us materially, send donations, uh, support us in all other ways, become involved. Now, uh, I was complaining that I'm getting a lot of letters uh, by email, and now people stopped writing to me. So I'm writing to people saying, hey, guys, let's organize. Here is my initiative. I made you administrator. That's a channel, blah, blah, blah. Follow these instructions. That's how we structure, and I get silence in response, absolute silence. So what I'm saying, I know, don't take it literally, but uh, write to me, but write to me to what I want. Write to me, help me, uh, and try try to make it short if possible. Okay. Yes, uh, you know, Jim, Jim and I get in the phone calls and. Uh, emails where people just write long letters sharing the experiences and this is nice I, I would like to know your experience but 
You also can post it on the website so everybody reads it and everybody and it becomes um, a shared experience and people learn from that. So so it's nice to know you, but it would be very nice if you share these experiences publicly. My whole life is here on broadcasts and uh, you know if you share your experience in our in our handouts it will become uh, their fairy tale of everybody and it will become reality for everybody if it's a nice reality. So that's that's my take on that. But can I say something? I don't think they can see us. Um, uh, can I say something, Max? Just tell me when, when it's okay. Go ahead. I, I wanted to say that we <coughs> all didn't know each other when we when we looked for a contact with you. We were drawn by the videos, we wanted to get to know Max and Jim, but we also we have shared our experiences publicly and that is how we met the other people in the in the in the whole community. That is how we made friends and it's a very nice thing. So just uh, uh, I could say that yeah. um, taking the initiative it's a little bit scary because people are closed in themselves in the beginning, but uh, when you just make a step and post your your view, your intention or your dreams or whatever happened to you, it's very nice uh, us to go and read it and say hi, hello, I had the same thing. So it's very good to make contact with other people because not not uh, you are very busy, both of you, and you really I know you want to say to say hi and treat everything, but it's not possible. Oh, yeah. It's not possible. It's not humanly possible. So this can this is what I wanted to say. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, exactly that point that uh. Connect to others. Not you know. We we we're here for you. And uh, my computer is freezing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we can. Oh, thank you. Because my computer is freezing. All right. So we're here for you. We have put our faces uh, on on the like webinars and on the website. I invite others to put their faces. Invite. Others, so so you come there like Sabrina did. Thank you, Sabrina, and be a face of the human colony. Invite others to write to you. That's what I'm asking. Uh, uh, now I'm all day answering emails uh, and solving serious problems. This this problem sometimes it's serious for individuals, sometimes it's serious for the whole organization, and it takes time. Organizing committees, they uh, you know people in organizing committees like. Most of these people, most of you late workers, are not used to organize. You are lonely nights and you have been oddballs all your life. Now when you come together, you do whatever you normally do. You, you want to hang out and speak about what's dear to you, what is dear to you, which is very different from organizing. Yes. So we need to learn how to organize efficiently. Like our alien friends, they have individuals driving specific activities and their committee is kind of under individual who is an expert in the field. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Uh, so we need a broadcasting committee who will structure these broadcasts uh, which will be, some of this will be regimented like you call a channel and some of it would be like free flow like mix hangouts and Roxy's hangouts and just random uh, and Frantishex hangouts where people just come and chat together and actually I What's that word? Command? Command? Uh, I like the way uh, uh, Jaguar he is very structured. So I uh, I uh, compliment Jaguar <laughs> for structuring his activities and invite him to be more proactive. And please, please, the leaders, talk to me. You know, the leaders, Frantishek, Jaguar, who comes with ideas, please talk to me directly and coordinate with me so we will work together in coordination. Okay. And that's about it. Today we invite. And we are humancolony.org, uh, where you can uh, become a member, and then you get email announcements about the coming webinars and handouts. Um, find us on Google Plus and on uh, Facebook. Search for Hucolo, Hucolo, H U C O L O, and you'll find us there. Join us and follow us there. And today we invite, I invite people to, humans from from the colonies to speak to us. And uh, 
people, uh, the extraterrestrials who are dealing with the colonists and extraterrestrials who have experience in organizing to advise our organization. And with that, I let Jim channel. <coughs> Hello. Hello. I'm Douglas. Hi, Douglas. I'm from you calling me one. Welcome. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for coming through. I can't stay long, but I can talk for a moment. Yeah, tell me what you learned about extraterrestrials and about the colonists. That would take a week or a year. But there's so much to learn from them. They, they have so many high ideals. They have so many great things that they're putting into action to help us. And I know that that's for true because I can see their intentions when I do telepathy with them. And it's a wonderful thing that they are able to find us and, and to help us the way they are doing at this time. Yes. Do you have a question that wouldn't take so long to answer? Uh, at some point, the, the he telephones were concerned that the aliens have negative intentions, and after that, mm. that the concern disappeared. What was your take on that? The concern, there's still concern out there for many things, negative entities and things of that nature, but the government is seeing that they are actually helping us and not taking over everything that we're doing, so it's it's reflected in their actions even though they're still very frightened and they're still very covered they cover themselves but it's a bit less than they did before they're still understanding how aliens are helping and they discover more every day how much time do you spend in the colonies? usually about five days at a time. Does it feel human there or you have to adjust to alien conditions? There is some adjustment, yes. There is, well, there, it's just natural that there's an adjustment from telepathy to third density. Do you understand? It's, I mean, and, and we're also in, in a fourth density kind of way there. And um, we're using a lot of fourth dimensional energy so yes there is an adjustment and there is an adjustment on the way back as well because on the when you get back you have to be like totally normal you can't really be trying to go up to someone and be telepathic with them or you must speak your words like I'm speaking now um, but in the in the colonies, you do not even have to speak if you don't want to. 
Uh -huh. So, um, so what is what are the technological miracles we meet in the colonies? Well, the technological miracles are the way communication happens. The way communication happens within the system is quite interesting because they have almost machinery that's telepathic, can pick up thoughts and transfer them to other people in a dist from a distance. Yes, yes. So that I find quite interesting. And also that thoughts control many of the things that you do. But the food, the restrooms, the sleeping <clears throat> places and the furniture is all 3D familiar? Not all of it, but some, yes. But the food um, is different, yes. It doesn't taste like the food that we have here. It's actually synthetic food, but they try to make it so that we like it. It's not always likable sometimes. It's very it's very uh, unflavorful. Uh -huh. So sometimes it's it's just you just take what it is and move forward because it's not the most important thing there that you like the food the most important thing there is that you learn how to communicate with each other and the aliens and other species and actually make it um, uh, like your breathing it's it's it becomes so much like you're breathing, you know what I mean? You don't have to think about it anymore. You just do it. I invite others with a question before before that. Prepare your questions. I have a last question. How is medical service in the colonies? There never seems to be anything happening medically anymore. It, at first, there were some medical problems with fear and disorientation, um, sometimes uh, panic, but They've, uh, once the telepathy starts, that ends. So, uh -huh. And if they have some kind of disease or something that they need special help with in the colony, it's taken care of in, in a very nonchalant kind of way. So I invite others to speak. Yes. Uh, hi, Douglas. This is Safira. Safira. Hello, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Could you give us a rundown of a like really quick day in the life or your schedule? And somebody also has a question in chat. Uh, when you come back to Earth, do you remember your times in the colony? First, I'll give you a rundown. First, I'll just tell you, yes, I remember many of the things in the colony, but I've been there like seven or eight times, so... The first few times I didn't remember much, and the last, the, the more that you go there, the more that you remember when you come back. So if you've only been there once or twice, the chances of you remembering a lot are very slim. It just appears that the more that you go there, the more that you learn, the more that you retain, and you bring that back. I see. Thank you. And a, a day in the life is not always the same. Um, they break it up so that not every day is the same. But um, basically, um, you will start with um, greetings and meditation. And that's how they start all, all their sessions. That's one thing that is universal, is that um, a meditation is the beginning and they lead you in this meditation so that you'll be more open to accept the information that they're giving you and more open to um, not be frightened, not be hesitant, and things of that nature. And then at the end, before you leave, there's greetings that they, they tell you that you're leaving and they're going, they tell you exactly what time you're going back to, what day, what time, what hour, what's happening. Because, of course, after five, six, seven days there, you forget what you were doing in the present, in Earth time. So this helps you orient your time back into mm -hmm. 
reality of third density. So it's it's like uh, be aware of these things. They remember exactly where you came from at what time. You go back like an hour or two later in their density, and they remind you of all the things that were happening so that you can be reacclimated to exactly where you were when you left. Does that make sense to you? Yes. What kind of work do you actually do there once you're there? Actually, we put to, we. I'm one of the people that put together activities for children to learn oh. different things for um, uh, telepathic uh, enhancement, should we say. Um, and it's, it's like games. We talk to the children and find out what they like to do. And they, they like to do certain things. Not all of them like the same things. So we break them off into groups sometimes like two to two or three at a time and and then teach them that way with some games and some and have them ask many many questions mm -hmm. so. that sounds like fun thank you Douglas you're welcome uh, hello Douglas yes uh, this is Mary Mary hello hello how do you meditate out there they uh, we have a guided meditation. Usually it's a, a Yil, and sometimes a Pleiadian, and actually Takur was there to guide us with one of our meditations once. So it, it it's a guided meditation for relaxation, openness to for understanding, intended for learning and uh, being forthright and most integral. So it's it's a guided meditation for these intentions and sometimes it changes slightly in intention as well because if they're if they want you to be the teacher that day then they will guide you in that intention for the meditation thank you you're welcome Douglas I have a question my name is Ellie hello hello I have a question for your meditation. Do you use crystals? And is there um, a lot of crystalline technology? That's a very good question because there is crystals around in the areas that we do work. They do have a great effect. They are intentioned crystals and they're actually connected with technology in some ways. Crystals can be used in technology very effectively, obviously. How can we help you? What we have here a nice group of light workers who organize, and our main interest is human colonies. We strive to help you. How can we down here help the human colony up there? Well, the most important thing you can do is just continue to move forward in your work. Um, we we understand that there's a lot of people out there that are becoming telepathic or on the road to becoming telepathic and um, human colony has really opened this up You're, this is one of the largest channeling hubs in the world now in, in some ways because you have so many channelers and so many things happening it's, it's just growing exponentially so Yes, just continue to connect yourself with the light worker ideology, I would imagine. How much initiative is there? Like, are you guided by the aliens, or there is a way where uh, uh, humans can coordinate in a committee and uh, do proposals and things of that sort, do diplomatic actions? Well, when you become telepathic in the way that the aliens are telepathic, you always are hearing something. It's something you have to get used to because you're always hearing some thought somewhere, but yet you're able to to leave that in the in the back of your mind and concentrate on what you're doing. But there are direct thoughts from the aliens and direct thoughts and guidances from other humans as well, so that we understand exactly what we're doing and we do it 
as we can, I should say. Does that make sense? All right. Other committees are advising the extraterrestrials on a specific... Yes, we are aware of other committees. We do not... We, as a human colony in the, in the first colony, are together much of the time and are somewhat of a committee, but we do sp span out and do other things. But we do come together at least a few times a day. Do you discuss directions between yourself or you always have an extraterrestrial who guides you? Sometimes we just chat. Sometimes we just speak to each other as friends and and have some downtime. They realize that constant work is not viable. How is Nina doing? Nina is very exceptional. She is beautiful, but she is exceptionally well ground that she can take care of most situations that occur without much difficulty at all. Um, Douglas, were you very telepathic before you were brought to the colonies and did you get to the colonies through human colony or some other way? Because I know they invite people around the world they had discovered me because I had 17% telepathy already. Mm -hmm. And I was not from the United States. So um, they did. I did not come through the human colony now. I okay. came before the human colony even existed in some oh, way. I there was, see. There was a few of us that came even before that. But they did not know how to organize it exactly. But Max's ideas put it in more perspective. And as they learned to speak to us, then the human colonies became more viable. Oh, I see. And how many people come there from around the world on a regular basis? To stay? To for, visit? To yeah, put all periods of time? Um, when they give you the number of the people that are in the colonies, they're giving you the number of the permanent not the permanent, but those that are there for weeks and weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. Daily, there are people in and out for one reason or another, maybe two days. They do not count these as part of the colony. I see. Okay. So, yes, there are people from all over, and they're given tests if they want them. I mean, they, are, they do not, they're not subjected without permission but they do ask permission and give tests um, to those around the world and many on human colony as well at, at this point uh, some do not remember because they were only there a short very short period of time but we remember some of them I've seen some of your faces there Yes. Uh, which ones of uh, who are pre of people who are present here? Which ones have you met? Uh, let me ask if I'm allowed to say. But um, Sabrina, for sure. Have you met me? Yes, Max. I have met you before, but only once. I you had you came during only one of the times I was there. Was it recent? No, it wasn't. Uh, I, I suggest everybody asks because it looks like without you asking, they can't tell you. Hi, oh. Douglas. A uh, barrage. Uh, this is Zinaida. I would like to know if I've been there. Your name is what? Zinaida. Zinaida. One moment, please. Yes, you have. One time. But it was not a long visit. You may have an experience in the future where you will stay longer. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello, Douglas. Who is that speaking? Mary. Mary. Have I been in the human colony? Yes, but not human colony one. But I'm aware of who you are. Human Colony 1? No, you've not been to Human Colony 1, but you have been to one of the colonies. 
and also it was a brief period, and you may remember some of it, but it might be subconsciously. I'm hidden. trying to remember. But anyway, yes, you were at one time you were in Colony 2, yes. Thank you. Um, Douglas, I have a quick question again. This is Safira. James told us that some of most of us here that he had met all of us physically at least once. And another channel said that we show up more holographically. Can you explain that? It appears that, yes. Well, James has been in the colony many times, probably 20 or 30 times. I, I've not been there that many times. I really don't know how many times he's been there, but it's been a lot more than anyone else. He was probably, he and Randolph have been there the longest. So, um, or they're the most, I should say. And yes, sometimes when they uh, bring you, it is in a holographic form or out-of-body form because um, you are asleep or have only given subconscious permission and not spoken it. And so when it's given subconsciously, they don't bring the body there in, oh. in the full. But they do bring the part that g gave permission. Do you understand? Oh yes, and thank you for that explanation. I appreciate that. It clarifies because things. If, the, if, if you, in reality, have given permission, then they will bring the whole body. If you've only subconsciously given permission, then they will, you will appear in the subconscious state. Okay. I've, I've given permission probably both ways. <laughs> and you've been there both ways as well. <laughs> okay. Thank you. B Douglas, it's early here. Yes. And uh, the gentleman wants to ask as well for the colony. So, as a last lady, I would ask you: Have have we met? What was the name? Ellie. Ellie from Europe. Elena, sorry, Elena. Ah. Uh, yes, Elena. I have met you on more than one occasion. I remember some of the times. Do you remember me, though? I I remember faces, but no names. I see. That is perfectly logical at this stage. Yes, I have met you on more than one occasion. Okay, thank you. Audrey, do you want to say anything? Do you want to ask anything? Um, I've got a question. Yeah, I no, want yeah. To... Okay, Dan. Audrey, prepare if you like to speak. You can speak after Dan. I was wondering um, if you ever I met me. And who am I speaking to? Audrey. Audrey. No, Audrey, I've never met you at this point. Okay. But I suspect that um, someday I will. Okay. Well, do they have any more questions? There was someone else that had a question. It was a gentleman. Oh. Well, yes, yeah, that's, that's okay. Or Dan. Um, it's a bit confusing now. Um, you know why, Dan? Uh, let, yeah. let me drive it. Dan, it's now your turn, and Ravi, prepare that. Okay, cool. Um, I had a dream where I was in some kind of room, and I was watering plants, and then all of a sudden the plants died. I then realized that I could bring them back to life just by using four. Um, do you have any idea of uh, where this may come in handy or why I was shown this? This was, this was one of the lessons that, that's very uh, early in on the training, those who have actually become telepaths are usually given this lesson, and it is to show you that in times of emergency, that you can bring back uh, plant life easily. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. Are you done with your question, Dan? Are you Dan? Are you done with your question? Um, 
I've got another part to it. Uh, was this was this lesson taking part on one of the colonies, or was yeah. it in another state? No, it was a colony. Not colony one usually doesn't do that, but I I have visited the other colonies and see that they do many different kinds of things. And you were in a subconscious state when you did this. Uh, actually, you actually didn't do it as much as experienced it that it's possible. Does do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Um, we have the beginnings of telepathy, but you actually didn't do it. You just saw it because they want you to be aware of it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. Ravi, and next will be Mikey. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, Douglas. This is, my name is Rowie. Hello, Rowie. How are you today? I am splendid. Fantastic. I had a um, experience uh, after applying for the colonies where I had uh, almost an hour of missing time. Yes. And I believe I have visited, but I am seeking confirmation. Oh, Rowie, you have visited at least three times. At least three times, perhaps more. Uh, that, that, Magic number. Um, there is, there is interest in you in the colonies, and your telepathic ability at the colonies was surprising, but um, you're not aware of it on the third density, uh, and that is why it's interesting, because in the fourth density you're very telepathic, in the third density you're, you're very little telepathic compared to the fourth density. Hello, I have a question. Yes. Um, I, okay, oh, I'll pass on. Oh, oh no, go ahead. I, I, I would ask Audrey to start because she's new and uh, uh, we'll continue from there. Come, um, we'll come back to you, Rowie. Do you know how many times I've visited the colonies? I can't really remember. I think I visited, but I don't really know. I do. Audrey, I'm not sure if you have or not. So um, I really can't say okay. at this point. Um, but I will get back to you on that if they uh, allow me to uh, access that information. information. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank You're you, welcome. Audrey. And uh, Ravi, you wanted to say something? Ravi. Ravi. Douglas, um, obviously you're from the UK, like myself. Um, is it possible we can meet in the UK? And um, there's a couple other members here as well, I'm sure might be interested in a more 3D environment? Maybe possible. Maybe possible. Um, I keep a very low profile in the UK. I understand. I also do the same thing. Um, and um, there is good reason for that. They, the governments already know who I am, and so I have to keep um, as normal as possible. And uh, any meetings of that sort might be seen as a threat, but um, don't worry. I think that possibly we could meet for coffee or something. An espresso. <laughs> yes, chit sure. A like quick chit chat. We shall see. But, um, yes, I better not say where I'm from. <laughs> I can already tell where you're from. That was. Very nice. Uh, that's a very appropriate question. Thank you. Oh, you said you already know where I'm from. I can tell from your accent By where you're accent. from. Oh, I, yes. Well, that, that is very possible, yes. <laughs> Jim's um, obviously influencing a little bit, but it's um, coming through quite clear. Yes, it's hard because I am not a spirit or an alien. But... Yes. Yes, and it's really fantastic to hear it come through so well and so defined. Oh, thank you. I think. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. I understand. Do you have any ties with the government at all, or is it like you 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 actually are? I did have a, a low, time. low, low profile. <laughs> At one point, I did have a tie with the government, but I severed that. 
Excellent. I'm surprised that you were picked up on that. Is it in? <laughs> is it in You'll the be way? Surprised I, what I can pick up on? Yes. Is, is it is in the way I speak that you picked it up? Very proper. Oh, I see. Proper. <laughs> who else? Hello, can, Douglas. Yes. Who is this? This is uh, Mikey or Mike or Michael. Or turtle. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very, very. Um, well. I remember a lot of dancing. Is this yeah. uh, part of the colonies, or was this just a dream I, I had? No, it dancing is part of an exercise program because they believe that when you're exercising, there are some people that do not like to exercise, and they bring joy to exercising and health. And there's also a um, visual aspect to it. I don't know if you remember the visual aspect. Aspect. I'm sorry, but the visual aspect also causes um, the release of endorphins. Yes. And serotonin. Well, I remember specifically asking for some healing because where I am in my life, um, this is what I need right now. Yes, and they gave it to me uh, a little more than um, I could take um, in the 3D sense. For I didn't sleep for two days after that. And uh, when I was dancing, they were giving me these crystals, and I could visualize anything I wanted to with them, and it yes. would appear on a screen, a 360 screen around me. Yes. I don't know if this makes sense. If yes, this is a hallucination. You're, you were in the you were in the panorama. Oh wow! What is that? It is actually for health. The panorama brings about great and comforting beauty around you, which helps you heal while they're giving you the treatments. Wow. They found that this is very successful because um, if you are witnessing beauty as you're getting um, treated it is much more effective the calmer the body etc. Do you understand? Yeah, very much and I would like to thank you and your uh, constituents because it seems I've had a year of healing and perhaps a few nights or a week or so so thank you very much and I hope we meet again. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Oh, well, thank you. That's very nice. I, I had nothing to do with the healing, however. But thank you. I will pass the word along. Thank you. There is only one person who never spoke, which is Sahej or Sahej? Sahej. Hey, Mike. Hey, Douglas. Uh, I just pretty much have the same question as everybody else, which is, yes. um, have I been to the colonies? Yes. Um, yes. How many um, times? Perhaps twice. I did not meet you, but they have told me that you were there, yes. Actually, I've got a download of information about the people that are here. And yes, most of you have been to the colony at least once. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. I, I think I must go. Oh, thank you very much. So much appreciation for what you have done. Uh, we we had all of those questions for all these months, and finally we got a lot of answers on these questions. And everybody, please unmute yourself and uh, cheer cheer um, for uh, Douglas. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. I was it was a privilege to be here, and they have sent me not because I was there so long as that they felt that I was a diplomatic sort. Yes, and you did great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Douglas, for coming. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Douglas. Have a great, have a great day. Yes. You too. <laughs> hey, Brian. Hey, Rui. Hey, Brian. Hi, hey, Brian. I wish you got to ask the question. I, I watched, I couldn't get in, so I was just waiting for a little bit to, if I could sneak in there. <laughs> join, us, join us on Skype. Join us on Skype, Brian. Make a Skype or something. Okay. Hello. I'm Welcome, Jim. Oh. Okay. How was it today? It seemed okay. There was a 
some like uh, breakups, but there was okay. So I didn't, I didn't catch the earlier Max. Is is Douglas like a, a liaison between extraterrestrial and Earth? No, he's just uh, a babysitter at the Human Colony One. Ah, okay, interesting. A child hmm. worker. A child worker. You know, he he is a you know he is good with children. Oh, okay. cool. Very cool. But, um, Seems to look after the. The youngsters. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's not. He's not just babysitting. He's not just babysitting. He said he's teaching them and coming up with teaching programs for them. One of the yeah. telepaths. I mean, there is yeah. not so many. Last time they said seventeen, and he has been there for a while, so he is one of the initial. He said he was in the colony before the colony was formed. So, so he was there with the aliens before. So he is one of the mm -hmm. oldest uh, telepaths ever. Yeah, it did yes, um, come across as an adult. That's a, yes. what? He did come across as an adult. Um, oh yeah, sort of forties, fifties, but it's very hard to tell through a voice. Yeah, I, I felt that he was younger than Jim. There was a feeling that he was younger than Jim. Okay. I I couldn't tell you. <laughs> yeah. From the accents, that's um, a much older accent, um, but but it, I could be wrong. Oh really? Yeah. So again, do you have a craving for for uh, chip um, fish and chips? Oh yeah, I love I love fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, you're. <laughs> no, Jim yeah. Douglas's accent was very lovely for you. Splendid, as they would say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very splendid, very proper Queen's English almost. Really, oh, yeah. let us know. Really? For you. I but I felt some breaks in that. I felt it, I felt like. Something was interfering a little, but it was uh, he came through pretty well. Might have been my questioning. Hmm. Might have been something to do with my questioning. Oh, I don't know why. No, it was during. I don't think so. I don't think it was. I kind of located his sort of. I sort of have an oh, idea of where he was from. Oh, you located him. Oh, that's different. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's could you could you see the face of Douglas? Could you see Douglas's face? Um I couldn't see his face real plainly. It's like the rest. I see it sort of in a shadow. Uh, I could tell he had facial hair though. Um there was someone in the chat that had a question. He couldn't get through because a block um, he had a question. He is from, uh, I think, Arabia, and they're wondering what ship is in that area or if there's any ships in that area. There is. There's a ship on, over every continent, but the United States has three ships now, so uh, there's nine, nine ships of uh, Brook Fekneer in the world right now on, on the Earth, over the Earth. Okay, but, thank yes, you. They do have a ship. Okay. And every continent, every continent. Okay. Well, Gorkfit is, no, no, is not only um, a alliance of extraterrestrials Correct. which have, has ships, so it could be lots of other ships. There could be other ships as well, but they do have one as well. Like very frequent are the ships of long cylindrical shape, and we just recently were told, you know, in, in the channel, and that these are Martians who are carrying the water uh, from Earth to Mars. So yeah, this long yeah. cylindrical are just you know cisterns and you know, tubes with water. Yes, I heard about that. Yeah, I don't know much about it yet, but I heard about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, well, okay. um, I, I'd like to say that uh, Nick is trying to get in, so I think I'll leave for a little bit. And um, thank you, Jim. Thank you, Max. So maybe I'll come back later. Thanks, Akira. Okay. Nice to have you around. Nice to thank have you. hang out with you. Yes, thank you. Both of you as well. Thank you. Thank you, Sakira. Thank you. Thanks, Welcome. Sakira. That's, <laughs> nice. That's nice of you. Okay. Bye bye. Um, did anybody? I would like to ask if there's anybody you particularly want me to channel right now. Because uh, there's a bunch of them there. I just don't know who wants to come through. The question I had was um, retaining our memory from the colonies. Yeah. How we can. Um, 
I know in the dream state, I'm, I just had a dream this morning, just woke up from one, about some of the ships and just fascinating. Yeah. Like just something more about how we can retain and remember those. I think they're getting um, more in tune with how the human mind works, and it'll probably start happening shortly. But uh, we have we have such diverse minds. <laughs> no. To them, it's really quite hard for them to discover some things because we're it's like a junkyard there. They they have to work with the spirit also. Spirit oh yeah. Oh, definitely. The whole yeah. thing. Yeah, so it's a, like it's like a lot of separation, and it's very fine separation. So it's, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing I'd like to bring up as well, and that's um, DNA activation. Mm -hmm. I know we all have the extra DNA, but actually, how much is activated? Um, oh yes. Is uh, it a process? Is, do we have to unlock it ourselves? Yeah, on that that's time. a really good question, Roey. I like that one. Yes, how to unlock that hidden potential within us? Yeah. Well, they're they're doing some um, upgrades on some people that have hybridization already. Some of you already know about that, right? Yeah. And um, if you ask for an upgrade or want a certain hybridization, they will check you and make sure that you can handle it. Uh, but they will give it to you if you want it, pretty much. And you apply in the same uh, way on the website. There is a apply uh -huh. menu, and then you just apply through the same mm -hmm. window. You can send email to sign up to go at gmail.com, or there is a window where you just paste your application and submit. And you say, for, for the upgrade, you say, I'm applying for infusion of extraterrestrial DNA from this specific individual or from this specific race. And I have to tell you though, the people that are right here that uh, are the base of of this group that have already been to colonies, they already know what your wishes are so you really only have to just say the word and they'll take care of it. But again, yeah. they don't yeah, have your I'm mind. Fine. I'm pretty sure I'm even if you are telepathic, they, they don't read your mind. You have to say it pretty straightforward. Like, this is the message for the aliens, and um, here's blah 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 blah. The end of message. Are okay. they um, with the Council of Greek Fignir, Are they still um, accepting new memberships from other other places? Well, they just took in a reptilian, yeah. a friendly reptilian race into their alliance. I heard about that one. You know, they, they, mentioned that. they mentioned that they are in talking to many other species cool. as well. Is so. is uh, Asani is uh, Bashar's race a part of any of that? Or is it... Sasani, Shakani are not the members of Gurkfitnir and they have diplomatic relationships, but they are not very close diplomatic relationships. It looks okay. like they is might be in different. Because they're in the future. Different realities or different time zones, something like that. They're in yeah, different. Yeah, they're, they're different, different now. Stadiums. They don't look at it as sectors. They look at all of this as a galactic community. Yes. Right. So that's the major difference between the Federation of Worlds and Greg Fischer. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Well, I regarding the DNA activation stuff. I was actually given a message by Arkadzini to actually speak to Gurk Fignir more about this. So okay. this is why I'm raising the question. Oh, okay. Well, um, Tukur and these do and those people would be the most efficient to answer those kind of questions. So when they come through, they make sure you ask them what what's going on. What's that sound which comes through? Like, bleep, bleep. Somebody has some sort of Skype or some other or Hangouts uh, notification, which yeah, it's annoying because I put it on my phone as an app, and now er I get everybody's messages in the group on my phone. Sorry, I've been been chatting it's not with your somebody fault. who's I just been trying to get. I gotta turn it. Be... I gotta change the settings. It's my fault. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Skype's There's annoying. That... It will make loads of sounds and beeps, and this so, is the Hangouts. All right, now it was there. Audrey, if you mute yourself. Try muting yourself. When you don't speak, just click the mute button. And when you speak, just don't forget to unmute yourself. And that would be somebody. Yeah, there's someone that's trying to get into the chat, but they can't get into the chat because they're blocked by their country. So I'm in chatting oh. with them. 
Oh, the Arabian person? I see. Yeah. Thank okay. you for doing that. That is very nice that you took that initiative. Yes, I remember an Arabian person. Oh, I had a question to this uh, to the to the colleagues. Maybe next time I'll ask. How tall are the doors there? Because the Pleiadians and Lyrans are have to bend down to to go into human doors, and they probably couldn't even fit through a human door. Oh, in the colonies, you in mean? In the colonies, yes. Oh, I bet the doors are big. Um, she has a question. Is it okay? I can ask for her a minute. Yes. Um, sure. She has a question. She's Arabian. She's a female. She's wondering if she's been visited to the human colonies and wondering if she's been visited by any Apalians. Apalians, I think that's how you say them. Apalians or Pleiadians? Yeah. What is her name? Pleiadian. Um, They'll need a name. To, to no, noha. I think that's how you say it. Noha. It's spelled like noha. Like okay, noha. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll have to ask you an an alien when they come through. If, if about I know that. she has been to E1. I thought I told her. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, she's been to E1. Fine. Let I her know that. That's all I know. She's been to E1. And you know, well, he's for only like, she only came for one night. Yes. The last <laughs> night. Okay. Yeah, she kept trying to pop in and out and was having troubles. Obviously, her her country her, uh, firewall in her country was trying to block it. Oh, okay. All right. I understand. She's a koala bear. And I called her Noah. Jim is going to channel. Please mute yourself. I'm going to ask to Kerr or someone from the ship to come. Or somebody that knows the answer to your question, Rowley. And Brian. And all. I'm Tucker. Greetings. 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 Welcome. Welcome. One moment. That is better. Thank you. Do there. Is there? Go ahead, Rowie. Hello, Takura. This is Rowie. Yes, Rowie. It's a very pleasurable experience to talk to you again. Thank you. Thank you, my, my sister. Yes. Um, I have a question of uh, DNA activation. Recently, personally, I requested uh, Lyran activation. Yes. Um, I already have a high yeah yeah as we have talked about. Yes. I had a communication with our Hakatini personally. Yes. And I was asking a few questions, so she asked me to refer to Gurk Fitnir about this. Yes. And how the activations would occur, what ex what would suit us best, and. Your activation has already begun. The only question is now how much to give you, what percentage. You have 2% Lyran within you. They are you. checking to see if 6% is too high or 7%. But right now, it takes a while for them to process in this state
during this time. It will take a little while for it to be completed, but you have 2% Lirin at this time. And the... Yes, they... Please carry on. Go. Continue. Yes, this... Akatini mentioned something about they will maybe play a little bit and see what works best. This is correct. Um, they do yeah, not want to harm just, uh, the humans that are getting infusions, yet they they are so they are playing safety with it. Yes. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yes. One moment. I, my contact is not good. One moment. I pass the mic. Continue. That is better. That is better. Namaste, Takir. I pass the mic on to somebody else. Thank you. Takir, this is Brian. Greetings, dear one. Bri Brian, thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Um, namaste, dear one. Yes. The, um... The, at the rate in which we remember the memories of being on the colonies, yes. um, those that are working with us individually and as a collective, do they have to work with the spirit of our human, of, of, our, of our, ourselves also, the spirit body? Yes. The spirit is, the spirit, the body, the emotion, all is connected, all is in w one form. You cannot take them away from each other for a long period of time. So they must be connected in some way. Sometimes the spirit leaves the body, yes, but it cannot stay out for long without damage to the psyche of the individual. It cannot stay out long. Hello. I am answering. Thank you. Oh, sorry. No problem. Um, I am asking a question for somebody because she can't get through to our meeting right now. Is that no. okay? I can ask her questions for you? Yes. Okay. Her name is Noha. She's a female from Arabia, and she is... um. Wondering how close she is to channeling. One moment. It will take a time yet. She does have some of the essentials for channeling, but they have not been brought up yet. I would have to speak to her. Okay. Also, Noha asked about if she was visited from, by Gilfit Mir from the colonies. Yes. She was. Uh, and she was she also visited by Kenjim and his followers. He, she also has another question. She's wondering what kind of hybrid she is. She is Pleiadian. She has some Pleiadian. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure of the percentage. Okay. Can Jean or someone may know more than I on that? I have a... So, three people have troubles with health right now. Uh, Sabrina, uh, Safira with her back, and uh, Safira's daughter has health problems, and Mikey mentioned health problems. I just wanted to pass it along to your Medical people, if they can take a look at that. Oh, Yes. Thank you. I'll invite more questions. Hi, Tucker. This Hello. is Inaida. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. Um, I have a question about, I talk with Ahakitini. Yes. yes. 
and um, I was flowing with the music, the Mozart music. Yes. And I was just giving the light and giving my um, DNA to all that is. Yes. And I was going to very, very high vibration, and I felt like something like around came and entered my right side, uh, the low chakra, uh, hips. Yes. I'm wondering um, what what was that? If you may. That was uh, not an alien, but that was a human spirit, but a positive one that entered through the right side. They have left since then, but left you with a gift of some joy. If you are feeling that joy that they have left. Yes, I do. A light feeling. Do you feel it? Yes. Yes. It was a gift. Actually, because you were entering a meditational state, but also almost a hypnotic state. They gave you a a sense of joy as a gift, but they had to enter enter you to give it because well, of who it was. And one more question. I would like to know if I'm a hybrid. You and are which... hybrid. I'm having trouble today with distinguishing these kind of questions, however. There is not a good connection today, and things are just not... You do have hybridization, and it is Lirin, but I could never tell you the percent at this time. Do I have Yael's? Yeah, one moment. Yes. You also have Yael. But, uh, did you ask for an upgrade on your yu yield? It's very low percentage. I just knew that uh, one of my higher version is Yael, yes. and I think his name is Ko Tai. I am not familiar with him, but I will check. What was the name again? Ko Tai. Ko Tai. One moment. Uh, yes. I am now aware of that being, but I do not know them. But we shall speak later. Thank you very much, Tucker. I appreciate it. No, that is not a problem. Thanks. Okay, I think it is an important question for us. Um, we organizing and organizing process is sort of, uh, there is too many choices to make and there is, um, uh, we need advice basically. And you are, we know you're an expert in organizational things. Yes. Can you give us guidance how to organize and how fast to organize and what to do in this point? Well, organization is not that difficult. When you have people that are willing to work for something, an outcome, then those people are together. Those people join together for that outcome. What are you trying to organize for? To spread the word, to help human colonies, to help the ascension? This is being done already. The, the speed in which it is being done is already very quick. Your organization for your executive committee will bring about clarity in spirit. Do you understand? Okay. Your spirits will, gui will guide the the movement of the colony, the movement of lives coming to it, the spirit connects. The spirit connects with those that are light workers. And they will be drawn here. If you ask many of the people how they got to human colony, they will tell you this, I don't know. 
the reason why they are here is because they were drawn to it. It was it reached out to them and when they found it it connected with them. Does that make sense for those of you out there? Some of you have found human colony by total accident, but yet it was led to be that way. I uh, I can attest to that, Dicker. It was um, I've always been searching for a long time, for many years, uh, to be a part or to be to share ideas and to share um, experiences with others, and that's what drew me. Yes, and that. Nick, how did you find us? Um, I, I think it was my, at that point, my habits were almost on average every other day I would type in Bashar for the past uh, week to see new videos. Uh, but every other, I would say once every maybe three weeks, I would just type in Yael. Um, and that was the first video I saw of human colonies on YouTube. Ah, you see, people are led by different words. Akur, how did you find us? You found me. <laughs> how did I found you? That was a joke. <laughs> you found me. Um, it was meant to be. That's all I can say. Hello, Tucker. Hello, charming lady. It's Elena. Elena. Hello. Namaste. I want, namaste. I want to ask you about the free energy sources and about the development in our near future, let's say 20 years ahead. Yeah. Um, do we look... Uh, can we... Um, can we do something to help the, de the development of these technologies like... Uh, what can you tell us about this con concerning yeah, us, the normal you, people? Let me tell you something. The face of your planet will look different in 30 years. And the reason is that your governments will have to come to agreement on how to do things in a much more organized way. The way things work now is everything that is positive in some, not everything, but solar energy, wind energy, it's all minimal. They still have the big oil companies, the big destroyer companies that destroy the atmospheres around your your world. And until those are gone, a new thought is brought to light which it already has been. Your, the thoughts have been around for many, many years how to improve the world, but they have not done it. And so when they do it, the world will look different because things will change. The way you move from place to place will change. The way that you use energy will change. Different kinds of energy will change. And but right now there is it's much of it is blocked that's it. that is the word for it blocked do you understand yes there was a, a question related uh, i asked james in human colonies how do we build a new prototype for human society a new type of community and he said you shouldn't worry about that it will be sold for you Yes. Can you comment on that? Yes, I am telling you the face of the earth will look different in, in less than 30 years, but it will be happening. There, the, the weight of debt on the world, financial systems and communities will collapse upon itself. There is no way for it to sustain itself. There is not a single country that I can think of that does not have debt and that is not a good thing for the world do you understand everyone borrows from everyone and it will f collapse and um, Nick channels I think it was I don't know who said that but they, they said that oh, the 2027 disaster is cancelled can it, you comment on that it's not cancelled but it's changed 
and I, if you want to understand it better, you would have to talk to L. There, it is not canceled though; it is changed. So some may say it's canceled the way it was, but it is still there as a, a landmark or a date to be seen. Thank you. Uh, sorry for interruption. Please continue with your questions. Hey, Tucker. Uh, this I... is... Oh, sorry. Um, this is Sage. Um, I need to go in a bit, so when you ask this question, uh, you told me a while back that I was going to be visited by my star family and they're trying to get me approved for a trip. Um, yeah. Is there any news on that? There is news on that. You are recommended already and they are have visited you once to check out physiological data because your star family is not close but yes things are underway that's all I can tell you at this time can you tell me where they come from not at this time okay thank you Hello, good things, Tucker. Greetings. Hello. This Who is Suresh. Suresh. Uh, Hello. I'm Suresh. Hello. Um, I would like to go back with, uh, to the earlier thing, which uh, uh, about uh, uh, I would like to um, get a confirmation regarding my visit to human colony. And uh, regarding the infusion of DNA. Yes. You have just recently visited for the first time. Are you aware of it? Yes, I think so. Yes. You visited one time recently. Yes, very recently. I had a dream. Yes, very recently. Yes. It was very recently within the last. Well, you know when. It's it's hard for me to yes, yes. get through today. I'm sorry that if I seem a little lethargic today because it's there's energy difficulties today. But yes, you've been there recently. Yes, we can see that. Yes, I am sorry. And for that. Uh, I would also like to get some confirmation on uh, my request for the DNA infusion. Yes. DNA will begin within the next week. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Confirm. They are doing much DNA work right now. One moment, please. Suakato Katariya Shanti. Soto Shotoronto Buka Kocha Shota Sibia. That is better. Continue. Chukur, hello, this is Dan. Hello, Namaste. Namaste. Um, I have a question relating to some types of beings. Um, I spoke to Roxy about them, and I was told because I I miss I well, I got a download about these beings, and I mistook them as a single entity. But I was wondering if you could perhaps tell me a little bit more about um, a, a group of Syrians called the Kiru. A group uh, of Syrians named what? Kiru. K I R U. I believe. I believe they go by another name in the galaxy, but I think I know who they are. Yes. Okay. Um, also, a group. Uh, also, some beings called the Khan and stars. Yes. What would you like to know? I, um, I, I may not be able to tell you much about them. Yeah, I've heard that they're quite. They're quite hidden away at the moment. They're they're on yeah. their way. Um, they're quite um, secretive in their ways, and they're very selective of who they speak to. 
Yes, yes, I've I've understood that <laughs> completely from from my current uh, situations that's happening. Um, yeah. I was wondering if you could perhaps tell me a generalised um, idea about the free races. Mm, general in what, like how they look or what they do or what their purpose is. Um, there are there are three distinct races, yes, and they are traveling toward Earth, all three of them from different sectors, as you say. They they some call it sectors, we call it sectors. There are moving toward Earth because of what is happening here, and plus they were beckoned by some people on the European continent. Yes, I've, I've noticed that. Um, I was wondering if you could perhaps tell me my connection to these, these, these groups of races. Your as, connection? Yeah, as they seem to keep appearing and letting me know little, little details about them. But, you have connections to all three, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're, the connection, I cannot tell you right now what they are. I do know what they are, but they do not want me to speak about it. Okay, that's understandable. I don't want to get anybody into any diplomatic disagreement. There is... There will be a time when they speak to you directly. But, for now, they choose only to let you know that there is connections. Okay, wonderful. Um, I have one other question. I, yes. I've recently started to uh, attempt to communicate with uh, my little family of crystals that I have here. And I was wondering if you've heard of anything called Mpaku. The, M the name or this word appeared in my mind and I have no idea where it came from. All that I know is one of my crystals said Empaku. It is an alien language. It means empowerment. Okay, wonderful. I, I had a question to her real quick. No more stay, Brian. No more stay, dear one. Um, my connection with the Clares, can you tell me anything about that? The Clares are under the Pacific Ocean. They have civilization there. And also on other planets. But the Clares on your planet are the ones that initially did the harvesting of organs and things from cattle. They have learned that this is unacceptable and that cattle have little to do with what their physiology requires. Yes. And so, but there was a belief that the pituitary glands and certain parts and organs from the cow had beneficial medical information but they have learned that that is not they did learn that there was a little but not what they expected and the Claire's they are um, more secretive as well, but they have become more open recently. This is a surprise to us all. Yes. And yes, you do have a connection that you were visited by one of the Clares. Secure, I'd like to ask you a question. Hello, this is Mikey. Yes, Mikey. Um, do you see a connection within me with the Andromedan? Yes. Story five? Yes, you've spoken of it before. Yeah. I've tried to um, understand the language, and it seems very gruntly from yeah. the esophagus. Yes. And it comes out like samurai screams. <laughs> well, yeah. Yes. And um, is there a way I can bypass this unpassable vortex when I meditate to speak to the people in which I once lived with. 
when you speak in your meditative state to these beings, tell them that the screeching hurts your ears. They do have another form that's more compatible to human listening other than their original language. Tell them to put it in a different register, lower register. Right. Take the screeching away from it and it will come to a lower register. It is like taking the alphabet from all capital letters to all small letters. Do you understand? Uh, very much so. Thank you. Yeah. It, it's very hard. It, it seems like screams and and grunts. They are a very private passionate people species. They are people-like species at this time, but they evolved from a very uncommon way, in an uncommon way. Okay. Is there anything you can say about that? They're what? more like a bird species, hmm. but with and very much human... They're much more human now than they used to be. And do they look uh, Mediterranean, a lot of them? Sort of, in uh, some cases, yes. Not all of them look Mediterranean. Okay. I, I, uh, I wanted to ask a couple of questions, but then I would pass the microphone again. So the couple of questions which are interesting to many are, first is communication. Uh, how good is um, the channel communicating through the website? Like, sign up to go at gmail.com and this... Um, Electronic sub an anonymous submission. How well, how well is that connection to you? Is it is it somebody on the other side checking these messages? Not me personally. No, there are some communications that are checked be for urgency by Fission and a couple other Yuyil, but not all are responded to or even recognized as valid because of the content. That, is, that I don't understand. So, Is it true that if the frequency is not high enough, you'll already know just by, you don't even have to, you only have to read, like, feel the energy of it and you'll already know if it's relevant? This is correct in some senses, yes. And the urgency of the response. If there's a response that can happen in another way, it will happen. They give responses to many of them, but it's not in email or text form, of course. But some people will get their answers directly. So uh, one of the questions is um, anonymous applications. There is a lot of anonymous applications. People don't feel comfortable putting their names. So that they, is fine. They place their application in an anonymous window and hit submit. Is it sufficient for them? Do they need to submit the name? We can trace the electronic line. So submitting anonymously is not a problem? No. Now, submitting uh, electronically versus pronouncing that uh, aloud via voice or pronouncing it in mind silently, is there a difference? The voice out loud will be a full body experience. The voice inside will be a more spiritual holographic experience. Do you understand? Yes. We g you give permission by way of which way you would prefer. What is more efficient to reach you, electronically or through speaking, speaking, just speaking? They are both efficient. So there is no preference. I for should say, they are both sufficient, not efficient. So just sending you a voice message without typing it on a computer would be sufficient. Yes, because the you are the people on this site are being monitored all the time, not for their private things, but because we are interested in their growth. 
there are many applications, I guess more than 50% of applications of people who are not members of the site. Yes, we are aware. So people who are not members, if they say something in their mind or say something with their voice, would their, their application app be sufficient? Yes, because the application tells what they tells us something about them. And then we can follow electronic lines to find them. There is a problem in communication between us right now. My question was, do people need to submit electronically or just mental message or voice message without electronics is sufficient? Mentally, it's much harder to find. Now, voice versus electronic. Electronic would be easier to find. Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. Thank you. Um, another question which is important for many is we have a miracle of languages coming to people, galactic languages. And last few days it was just an explosion. Almost everyone on the site who popped up in this uh, in this hangouts uh, started to speak except me. Um, can you comment on that event? What is happening? We want more many, to know more. Many are being given downloads of languages so that they can find their channel. You see it's easier after a download to find their channeling capabilities as you noted or noticed some of you had languages before you began to channel. Others were exceptionally open to it like Nick and did not even need a language ahead of time but just needed to experience the aliens around him giving him the information. Now the, what happens with a download of language from an alien is that in the brain this will show up in a certain area of the brain and it will show where the channel is in that mind. Do you understand? Yes. And so it makes it easier if they are compatible with alien channeling to be notified at the proper time when they are ready. I would be happy to get downloads of alien languages, especially Liron, Yael, and Arcturian. I would invite Very them. good. Uh, there is somebody else wanting to come through and I'm going to go because my transmission is not of the highest quality. Much appreciation. Thank you very much. Please unmute yourself and say goodbye. Mupa. 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 Thank you. So this is seriously interesting. Seriously. Hmm. Ah, it's not proper for me to tell you what I think. But I am a reptilian. Welcome. 
I am reading more, more of a, a reptilian hierarchy that Nick talks to sometimes. <laughs> You understand who I am? Uh, General Arapo? No. no, 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 no. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> he is a good man, but I am not he. It does not matter who I am at this time. But do you have questions about things that you do not understand about reptilian guys? Perhaps I can help you with that. Uh, my dogs behave very aggressively sometimes, although they are very sweet and loving. And they fight and they bite. Are they also carrying reptilian genes? I don't think it's so much reptilian as some other species that is similar. Insectoid, since dogs on your planet are infested with small insects, I would think insectoid is what they are representing or showing. Oh, I see. I invite everybody to communicate. Um, are hello. hello. Yes. My name is Sophia. Oh, so. I have a question. Hello, um, Jim, whom you're speaking through, started to get um, reptilian DNA, and then he found himself very quickly agitated and angry. Is this always necessarily a part of getting reptilian DNA? No, he's just weak. <laughs> Can you explain that? Can you please explain that? His system couldn't handle it. So he stopped it. But that's not for me to judge, I guess. But <laughs> people could handle it. Oh, are you suggesting that it was beneficial for humans to get reptilian infusions? Oh, yes. You will be much less effeminate. <laughs> Hello. What? Who is speaking? Zina? Zina? Yeah, hey, Zina. It's my opinion. I have a question. Um, mm. I don't, uh, you didn't say your name. But I felt uh, so ka. happy. Ponica or Tonica? Ka. Ka? Just ka. ka. That's what comes to me because when I was speaking with Nick on very old, uh, your ancient language comes out from me. And uh, he was channeling Ra. And uh, Ra said that I'm very connected to ka, which is. Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> so I feel the energy when you were coming. I was so joyful. <laughs> and I was going to say your name, but the others came up. Yes, I am Ka. Welcome, Ka. And yes, I am here to just explain the non-fearful side of reptilian. You are very lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So if there are questions, I would try to answer them kindly. It's uh, dear one, this is Brian. How are you, my friend? Fine. My question is, how and what ways is the reptilian races of the planet and those off-planet working with humans more integration? Uh, that is a hard question because there is integration of different kinds. Ah. 
Nick knows these things. There's many kinds of integration. Yes. And the integration is good and positive, and yet it it is also angry because, but it is a righteous indignation for all the things that have been going astray and wrong. But we do not want to dwell on that. What do you... Dwell on the joy that comes, but... You, your society understands negativity better than positivity. Do you what, understand? Yes. What is it that you? What is it that the reptilian civilizations admire about the human? The that human you're being. willing to take chances, yeah. and that you're willing to be brave sometimes. We enjoy seeing you become who you are in brave light, in standing up, becoming great. Because in our society, everyone is great in their own way, and we let people know how great we are in our own way. Yes. So, but we encourage you to move in this positive way with Oroko and all his friends, but do not be caught up in weakness. You will be looked down. You will not be seen. Weakness cannot be. Do you understand? In, in the human vulnerability, when we are vulnerable, it seems like we have nothing else to lose. Our strengths come up from that. Yes. This is similar to how reptilians are. Yes. It comes up in us, but it comes up much more often. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. It's an honor to speak with you and to your civilizations. Thank you. It is an honor for me to speak. I hope I am not offensive. No, you're very strong. No. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Yes. Hello, Ka, it's Elena. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, yes. I want to ask you, are the reptilians um, using their anger in a positive way, transforming their anger? Do they, do they get angry a lot? Our anger is different than your anger. It's not felt in the same way. We are understanding that now. You see anger, negative hate. We see ne anger as love sometimes. We see love come through the anger and say, I love you, da. <laughs> but it is angry because we cannot fully express it. Okay, it thank you. I have a quick I have a question if no one else does. Um hello Ka, my name is Safira. Yes. Hello. So there's a lot of conspiracy theories that all of the royal family in England and the presidents of the United States and the secret government which wants to eliminate most of the population on the earth and take control are all controlled by the reptilians, quote-unquote. Uh, how do we differentiate between the good and the less intentioned, good, less good intentioned reptilians, or have we misunderstood? They're, they're only controlled by us because they're weak. You don't understand. We have to make them... If, if we have to force them to do what we want to do, then they're stronger. Yes. We do not control everything. Some of them are so pig-headed, they do what they want anyway. And then they, then people say, oh, it's a reptilian. No. <laughs> so it, it, We it, only control the weak-minded because they have no strength and they have no purpose being where they are. That's why we control the weak. 
So right. we do not we, control the strong. We step aside when there is strength. So but when there is like, someone that does not know what they're doing, we have to step in a little bit. Yes. And you are the reflection. You are the one that is invoking the people to stand up for themselves and be proud as being a human. Yes. Ah, that was the thing. Yes. I don't know, it so, was about the game here on the planet was about finding our own power through love. Yes. There is great love power. Yes. Yes. The balance. Nick knows Thank about these things. Nick has something to say, don't you, Nick? Go ahead, Nick? Um Yes. You are symbol I remember um you're symbolic of the uh flying serpent. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Somewhat. Somewhat. Okay, um, no, because I just remembered today, because I was, uh, decided to astral travel, someone asked me to astrally travel to Area 51 just to see if it's really there or what's there. Yeah. And, uh, at first it's I tried there. to get in, and there was a pulse, they couldn't, they were blocking me, but then I tried again, and you guided me how to get in easily. Yes. And uh, yeah, that was I cool. wanted you to see it's it's there. It exists. They were cruel. Yeah, they were not weak, but they were cruel. Yeah, that was not very nice. But thank you for that. <laughs> what what is there? What is that? There's alien specimens there. The dissected remains of Yu-Gi-Oh beings. Yes. Ugh. Yes, I know that. Ah, it's it's just, unpublished by a witness, yes. It's, Big book. Yes. It's a disgusting display. Oh. It, I didn't go down in the depths. I just stayed on the, the ground floor, which is kind of um, a museum of, like, old war, tech, high technology war jets and stealth planes that they don't make anymore. Yes, I saw those as well. Did you see the ship that crashed? Was it? Uh, is that on the ground floor? Is that hanging from the ceiling? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it has been hanging from the ceiling since they have reverse engineered some of its... Parts. Oh, and that's where all those planes came from, the reverse engineering of that ship. That's why it's above them. Yes. Oh. But that, the top ground level was ran by, the the museum part of it was just guarded by mainly one, I think it was an Andromedan? Actually two, but Andromedan is one of them, yes. There was another species that also felt that they should be there. That was the Yu Hill, and they do Yu Yu is still there. Yes. Okay. And then there was one human female agent that came up when they realized I was there. Yes. Was she? I did not see her. Uh, I think she actually might have been the Yael. Ah, that's fine. Yes. Then I there was a small green small person. Yes. I don't know what that was. <laughs> well, okay. But that's... I guess it was some sort of reptilian. Oh, I know what it was. Okay. Oh, I figured you would, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I... Is there any more questions? I gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask about North Korean president. Is he controlled by... Uh, you know, um, he's just nuts. <laughs> no one can control that thing. Okay. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and those who live on the Earth with us, where where do you actually live? The reptilian, the your reptilian race. We have our places. If I were to tell you, then you would look. Why should I tell you? <laughs> is it underground though? Are you? Do you live oh, underground? Some places underground, yes. Uh, and some places. Okay. Uh, some places in the ocean. There is a place in the ocean. One place. Oh, okay. Are the members of the human colony 
much affected by you, or are you working mostly with military? Uh, both. But, boy, you ask dumb questions. But, yes, we're working with both. You know, <laughs> nobody's asking about me. Oh, well, let me ask about oh, you. Please, like, please. What is making you proud? What's your history? Oh, jeez. We, we are proud from the beginning, yes. We are... We, I want you to understand that we mean you no harm, but these are the kinds of things that aggravate us, is that when you are, oh, you know, all these things that you can't control, you ask questions. Oh, what vibration am I? Oh, big deal. I don't care. What I care about is your becoming strong and dealing with your emotions in proper ways. Loving in a way that is proper. Do you understand? That's why I wanted to describe reptilians to you because we are strong, we are proud, we take charge of our own lives, we are not weak, we are happy, and we have anger, but it is only because we see so much wrong. So we try to bring that anger into a higher realm. Does that make sense <coughs> to you? Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. yes. All right. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you for coming. I got to go. Bless. Namaste, dear one. Much love. Thank you, yes, yes. Thank you Come Ka. Again. Come again. Thank you. Ka. Sa. Yeah. Ah. Sa. 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 Hmm. Hello. Uh, Jim, welcome back. Hello, Jim. Hello, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> that was awesome. Hi. Yeah. Good. What would you oh, feel, Jim? What? What do you feel from that that entity coming through? Um, I felt like he was laughing all the time. <laughs> He's very playful. Very playful. Uh, like Usually. he was like laughing his head off, like. <laughs> half the time. Um. Uh, but he was very happy. But he was like, just laughing and going, "Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> I can't translate it in any other." Like, "Oh, geez." I gotta. I gotta like recalibrate him now in my imagination. Why? Because. <laughs> Just he's. Did he ever come through you? Well, I've talked to him a long time, uh -huh. but um, he's uh, Anunnaki. Oh, well. And uh, no, uh, Ra said that he was before Anunnaki civilization, oh, he... which we have no. Um, no picture, no nothing about them. But you so, knew about Ka. Yeah. Yes, I know. I, well, that's I'm, what I'm saying. connected. I'm sure he's I don't think that Ra said that. And he's like, he a hybrid. Oh, sorry, Nick. Was it Ra or Ka? It's a Ka, which Ka. Uh, Ra said that he's a hybrid. Oh. And with um, reptilian and uh, Lyran, Lyran. Yes. Now, Nick, do you have any uh, channelings of Ka? Not of Ka, just Ra. But that is not. He said he's a hybrid, but he he is Anunnaki. He is one of the Anunnaki. He joined. It's, uh, or is he a part I'll, of the? I'll I'll. I'll, I'll Figure it out. I'll, I'll well, let you guys know. I, one of the original Anunnaki? Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Are they bad? Very anxious. No, they were the group. They were the... I have to learn more about Anunnaki. It's hard to explain in such a short period of time. I, I don't think this one was uh, with bad intention. Okay. No, none of them are. They're the ones from Heaven came. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. And that she looks like... Um, from the Heavens Come or something like that. Oh, okay. And, and, and he looks like a python, the, the snake like python. The head is uh, like a, um, a cat, like a panther. Hmm. Oh, wow. I didn't yes. know that. Oh. Uh, I couldn't yeah. see him at all. I couldn't. He did not make himself visible at all. It's he's not very lovely all. and very wise. Um, I feel um, uh, happiness and a kindness, so wisely. Yeah. <laughs> and very playful. Thank you. Very, very playful. Calm. Yeah. It's, uh, yes. Sometimes I'm right. the I same. Have <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you, okay, Nick. thanks, Nick. Bye. Bye. Yes, I'm love leaving you. too. I love you all. Love you. Oh, yeah. It's about time to wrap up. <laughs> it's been two hours, yes, over two hours. Anybody has anything else to say before we close? That I invite was... comments for everyone. From everyone. Um, I wanted to say to everyone that watches uh, not to fear from the future. The future will be very exciting for us all, especially for the people that um, look for development, for creating energy, creative energy, and for these um, playful spirits that we are. So, wonderful. Posting Posting the site, be with us uh, because we will see that we, will, all of us, we are a lot of people, and the people that need to be friends with you will notice your comments. So, this is the way. This is a very nice way to start. Wonderful. Okay. I like that. Yes. Thank yeah, you. I have another question, which I think is the right time that's to good. ask. That's gorgeous. Thank uh, you. Thank you, uh, Eliana. Uh, so, uh, the question is, G Jim and I. Uh, I faced with a dilemma. We either do our own webinars or listen to others, and we choose to do more of our webinars than to listen. So we miss a lot of fun. Please <laughs> update us. Uh, what has happened? What you know? I just notice. Few, I browse, you know, very quickly, like one, four hours or eight hours in five minutes. So I sometimes I'm lucky to pick on few messages, but I'm certainly missing some others. Can you update us? What has happened? I can. I think. Ravi and Brian are mostly there. Dan, I see you there more, more of the time. And uh, obviously, Caitlin would be most uh, qualified to update us. But tell us, what, what, what have you missed? What, what are the news? Yeah, that's a good idea because we don't, after this, there's other things that we're doing. It's like very hard to get to see a lot of videos or see what's going on. So, Ro or even get into this. them. Rowie would be good at that. Uh, Eliana, you wanted to say something. Eliana? Uh, no, I would only say that in the in the hangouts, people are speaking about personal experiences, and they are discussing uh, the the personal things that are not uh, suitable to be discussed in such hangout where we have limited time. There, we discuss things very, very with all the details, and it's very fun, very interesting. People are jumping in and out, very friendly atmosphere. So it's good to join such a hangout because you always get um, another point of view and you share your experiences with no pressure. Wow, cool! That sounds great. Uh, just to comment on that, I really invite people show your faces. Uh, share your experiences. Like Jesus came and he said exactly, tell you who you are. Uh, don't be that afraid. Um, I was afraid five years ago when I started. I was really afraid and and I just discovered that m most of the dangers are coming from your own being, from your own fears. And, you know, logically, uh, think if maybe you, if, if you don't have a boss who is spying on you or your family who would be like really upset, try to open up and uh, in, in many cases, people are shy for no reason. They, you know, if you have no job, why will you be afraid to show your face? <laughs> if you are, if you have a nice paid position, then maybe showing your face is dangerous. But if you have no job, then uh, or the, if your job is like electrician or some other position where your your bosses don't care what you think, then well, then do that. Show your face. Share. Click that broadcast button when you do the hangouts and just well, open it because. There is like 200 of us, and now there is like 20,000 and 200,000 of 
other light workers who need to learn about that and we need to share it with them. And our job yeah. is you, really. Yes. Our job is helping you with the things you need help with. Our job is to help you rise and rise ourselves and uh, have the aliens help us. So you have become my uh, income, my job, my higher excitement and highest excitement. And I love you all. And it's it's been really a very interesting last few months. Things have exploded, really. Things <laughs> have exploded, really. We yeah, but I welcome, I welcome more of you. Same sentiments. Same here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I life welcome. Is, I life has been a lot easier since since meeting all of you. That's for sure. Oh, wonderful! Okay. It, it brings so much happiness and content. That's what I love about this. And loneliness yeah. is gone. Yes. You don't feel isolated as much anymore because you have friends. And you don't so. feel as crazy as before. As crazy? No, nope, no craziness. <laughs> we're all here to we're doing very Speak similar things. So. Well, I definitely feel more accepted. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty crazy and happy with that anyway in the first place. Uh -huh. I mean, I was very open to everybody about all of my experiences, and but yeah, being around um, this is we we raise the vibration by being the group. Yeah, like Nick I was touching on yesterday. I get joy when I talk to you. When we do these webinars, I get very joyful. All right, it so makes me happier. So we bought a web camera for Nick, and somebody subsidized it. Some of that is my money, and some of that is somebody who paid for that. Now we need a web camera for Ravi. Ravi just doesn't have a web camera. And mm -hmm. so uh, one of the projects, I'm inviting donations for web cameras for, uh, for people. I don't have the bandwidth, Max. Oh, okay. I don't have an upload bandwidth to use a web camera properly. Oh, I see. You'll come through very, very poorly. I live in. I a... have an excellent camera. If someone needs it, just give me an address and I'll send it. Excellent. Wow, that's really sweet yeah. of you. Thanks. Uh, no problem. No problem. So next channeler who wants to show their face, uh, we have several channelers. So some of them who doesn't have the camera, we we invite them to. Uh, so Mike is will will send the camera. I'll donate. It's an ex it's an excellent camera, top of the line. Excellent, very good. Nice. And also, um, if someone wants to start a hangout and want it broadcasted, they can just contact me on Google. Plus, yes, that's Gabriel. I can fix that for you. Gabriel, uh, thank you, Gabriel. Offers to start hangout. Uh, I authorized him. Made it him a, an administrator on. Uh, Hukala, Hukala chat YouTube channel and Gabriel can start a hangout for anyone and actually multiple if you have more than 10 people you can just start another one so now we the genie is out of their <laughs> bottle hey Max the genie is out of the bottle. <laughs> yeah now please uh, update us what we missed in the previous hangouts uh, there was hey, some Max. some profound things hey, I have, uh, I've written down oh, yes Sophia, what did you want sorry uh, Sephira, do you want to go first? I just, I just want to say quickly something to Max. Yes. Thank you, Max, for asking about my health and my daughter's health. I to took care. I was listening. I just wasn't in the room. I appreciate that very much. Yeah. Uh, you can also write to sign up to go at Human Colony and through that box in the application. Just write to them. Say. Because they send, they send people. Uh, I experienced it many times when things go wrong, and uh, anyone in my family, and they come, and next day things go go right. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. I'd like to wake up with new teeth. That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. But I don't think they are that that uh, <laughs> going yet. But you know, there there are. You know, you just forget about something like uh, you you. <laughs> like you have back pain. Uh, imagine yeah. sometime from now it will be gone and you will be on the new. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. Right, right Maybe. now they they are not allowed to prove themselves here yet. Yeah, yes, so exactly. unless they are proving themselves here, then they can start doing those stuff. Yes, disbalances. That's what they fix. Disbalances. But yes. back pain is a disbalance. And on your part, do whatever is needed to to fix that. There are several things which you can do on your side, like. Ayurvedic herbs is works magically for my family. Yes, I'm taking spirulina and cholera that that uh, Safira sent me. 
I for see. my eyes. I see. And for health reasons. Please update us. What else is happening? What else has has been coming? I gotta say, I would not be sober three weeks if it wasn't for human colonies. So that's a wow. big piece of cake right there. I put a post on. Get on. Get on. Awesome, Mikey. Awesome. Awesome. We love you, man. That's great. I love you, oh, guys. Oh, yeah, mate. That's so That's, good to hear. It is. It is. It's been that, that, that our community, our vibration can be something more powerful than heroin. That, that is something <laughs> so <laughs> profound and so special. Yeah. Because uh, for many, yeah, I for many understand years, that very well. Yeah, I used to drink, like, uh, I, I would drink in the evening because in the day I can't drink. I mean, I'm working hard, but in the evening just to wipe everything from my mind, all this uh, 3D experiments, I would drink, you know, I, I drink little. For me, it's a little is enough, but I was drinking like all, every night and my wife and I would drink red wine. And and then I just because I'm not compatible with drinking anymore. If I drink in the evening, say next day is messed up. I'm not clearly thinking and I'm not clearly meditating at night. Right now my, my night is my nights are very busy. I'm busy at night doing some uh, higher dimensional stuff. I know about that for sure. And some of the glimpses on that. In the morning if they want me to show something last minute, I wake up and then I go back, I I dive back in this dream and, and I bring back a, a piece of memory and uh, this piece of memory is something that I'll, I'm allowed from, to remember from the past. And uh, Oh, but I'm saying they took it away. Uh, drinking is what do you want? It, it will come back. Don't worry. It's just communication. So drinking uh, and uh, smoking, I have I gladly gave up because I'm now in higher vibration, which is not compatible with this with these uh, drugs. Mary looks very alien to me right now. Mary, are you sensing something? Hello. No, I didn't say anything. I know you're. Are you sensing anything? Oh, you, you have a real alien sort of glow right now. Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a yeah, good thing. yeah, I am. I'm sensing. That's good. You look. You look very fourth dimensional to me right now. I am. I'm burning. I'm. I'm burning inside. Wow, that's really cool, though. I. I, good... I have fire inside. Wow. You, yeah, you look very fourth dimensional right now. I don't know if anybody else can see that. Oh, but. wow. Hmm? Yes. Can you see? No, yes. I, I can see you. Uh-huh. No. I might. Well, all righty then. How are you, Jim, after the whole channeling with the with the I feel very, I feel excellent right now. Okay. I don't awesome. know who all was there. That last <laughs> person I see or didn't under I it was not part of me at all hardly oh. I felt you oh, made a comment about you during the, during the session and one was very recent oh really good and for me it is a sign of higher dimensional influence okay can you repeat that Max I had a series of waves of goosebumps from my body during the session and for me, it is a sign of higher dimensional wave of energy. Okay, ah, cool. Ah, all right. Oh, Jim, I asked him about your. I asked him about your starting the reptilian DNA. Yeah. That you felt angry and and irritable, and I, I asked if that was part of getting the reptilian DNA. And you yeah. know what he said? <laughs> no, what? He was weak. <laughs> 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 uh, great. That's all I need. <laughs> and then they said he is he couldn't, oh, yeah. it was me. <laughs> he <laughs> couldn't <Yeah>. handle it. <laughs> well, maybe I'll continue yeah, it later. Like, maybe I'll continue it later. You gotta watch yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can take like a blue crystal and meditate with a blue. Blue crystal, it helps you connect with your reptilian DNA better. Okay, great. See? See, maybe I'll continue it. I have point. And you, you, you like being in the water, so you can do it in the water, then it right. gets. Uh, well, let okay, me explain. So the reason why I stopped it was because I have work to do, and I don't like being feeling irritable and uh, 
snapping at people and stuff. I, and it, it um, was really affecting my mood. So I said, I need to be in a, a higher place when I talk to people online and when I talk to uh, other people like doing my Reiki work and stuff. So I stopped it at 0.7%. So it really was affecting me. So I just, I would have kept it going if I didn't have any other responsibilities. But I was, re I felt responsible to everybody else to, to so that they could see a, a greater uh, love from me than that. So that's why I stopped it. Not that I couldn't handle it. <laughs> I was worried. I was worried about you that you invi you were invited to something that uh, was foreign to us. Well, yeah, I guess it didn't go, didn't fit with me as well as I thought and it. And I'm would happy there. that you exited. Uh, I exited at 0.7 percent. You know, with the good consequences. And yes, have, it's, it's nice fine. to know that you have control over that. Yes, I do. All right, so I asked several times for updates. Nobody updated me on what was delivered. <laughs> Roxy gave yeah. very profound messages. Dan? Yeah, um, I took some notes from um, from the first present testament um, webinar yesterday. Oh, good. Um, a lot of it was going through um, just basic experiences, um, kind of agreeing with certain things that Kenjin was saying through Jin as well. and. Um, allowing people to see what's uh, kind of going on on E1, even though it's currently closed down for the moment. Yeah. Um, Nick, well, Kenjin was saying about um, on E1, there's a lot of physical experience uh, based around um, tuning our bodies, um, the arena where we, we do the battles every night. Mm -hmm. um, there's also, um, if people have been receiving uh, dreams about um, playing music or dancing and stuff like that. There's also a lot of after parties that happens after the battles in the evening. So that could also be one of the things. Um, wow, cool. He was also saying in the means of uh, fighting our shadow selves the other night, uh, we need to start talking to our shadow selves, accepting our, our darker sides, accepting our shadows, and even speaking to our, our physical shadows to help us to implement them into our, our physical existence. This yeah. is profound. Speaking to your own shadow is something very new to me. Okay. That's a very third density idea. And it's it's proper for us to do that because we need to be in the third density here. Because that's what we were made for. It's a part of the integration. It really right. is. Right. And when we move up, when as we move up, we have to be totally third dimension in order to receive the next dimension in its proper form. So it moves up. Just like evolution moves up. It moves up. Can I comment on that? Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. Um, uh, I agree totally with Jim and, uh, and Brian's comments. Um, in my point of view, in my perspective, shadow work is a crucial aspect of an integrated approach to what we do. Yes. Uh, sometimes there's a risk for a very big and yet very subtle trap, which is, oh, I'm so spiritual, oh, I'm so high high dimension that I forget the, the shadow aspect, that I forget the body, that I forget the physical, everyday, mundane things. So um, right, exactly. it's important to integrate. That idea is very powerful, yes. Ryan. Thank you for, for giving it. To be an integrated being means to have all of those aspects attuned and very well matched with each other, like yes. a puzzle. Like it gives us a, a beautiful picture, not just yes. parts that are unarticulated in between them. So. I, I welcome that initiative. So now we'll make it a routine. We'll have a new tradition. Uh, after the channelings, we will invite uh, people to update us what have been said in other webinars in a condensed form. Uh, so prepare your notes. When you do other webinars, prepare your notes. Whatever came through whatever is important that everybody has to know. And uh, just update us, and you will have your say, and uh, you will kind of share what we learned from other things and what uh, you learned from other things, and kind of summarize it. because. 
it is important for others to learn that. So that would be exchange of, you know, there are jewels, bits and pieces here and there, especially in channel messages. So we need to connect them and bring them to, to, to each other. Um, Dan, please continue. Thank, sorry for interrupting you. Uh, yeah, um, Nick also channeled Saibo from the Asasani tribe as well. Saibo. Saibo, yes. He, um, he, he's a very interesting character. Um, I resonate well with him because of his, um, his the way he's kind of a pirate, really. Um, a pirate? Yeah, yeah, that, that's property kind of worries me. Does he really represent uh, Sasani Shakani or he is, or she, is it a she? I don't remember. He can be anything he wants. He can be anything he wants. He's Saibo. Yes, right. So um, they, yes. Please sorry, continue. No, I just no notice that uh, they might not be very, very much in line with Bashar and other Sasanyo. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that things that things that are said need to be taken with a pinch of salt, like like a lot of um, a lot of the beings that come through. But uh, some of the things that were mentioned were um, the use of great. Uh, I believe Brian. Yeah, this was something to do with Brian's question yesterday about seeing a being in a ship, and uh, their use of um, great type avatars for visiting our planet. Wow. Yes. Um, apparently, Cybo has visited the planet and has been wandering around in a an avatar form, looking yes. for. Treasure was the explanation of it. Um, great topic that you know that we have a lot of visitors as humans, who are sometimes some of them like there was Playel's channel and saying that uh, there's a Playel disguised as humans which don't know they are Playel, but the Playel have a connection to them, so they monitor what is happening and help them and direct them. So now. Uh, what uh, Cyber says, and also, I mean, it's a huge question, how many of the people we see on the streets, are they really humans or someone else? There was a, someone saying that maybe about 50% of humans on the streets are not, don't, are not, are not real humans. Whoa. Yeah, this that was, for me it was way too much, 50% was too Whoa, much. Whoa, that's too high, yeah. That's all. This, this that's actually brings me into um, one of the next topics that came up, was uh, Caitlin was mentioning about perceiving humans that she visit, uh, she sees in the streets as um, extraterrestrial beings, using there her... Are some, yeah, there are definitely some. And uh, it seems that she's been noticing them more and more, and this is where the, the idea that perhaps most humans that we meet are actually of another uh, kind. One of the guys, one of the people that I met in metaphysical group a while ago was definitely a Pleiadian. He was huge, tall, long, blonde, long, light brown hair, um, and we talked about Pleiadia a lot. <laughs> and he looked just like a Pleiadian, just like I would imagine one would look like. So they are here. Yes. Yeah, I had a... Um, we are here. Yeah, we are here. Yeah. <laughs> we are here. Oh, and, and speaking of they are here, I lived in Roswell, New Mexico for some months, and I tell you, they were there for sure. And a lot of the older townspeople uh, were convinced that the whole town was... Um, Alien. Alien, yeah. Oh, well, let's go and there. What town is that? Roswell, New Mexico. That's Roswell. where the original crash was. Yeah. The 1947. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. And it's all aliens. Uh, why oh. do I, I want to go there. Yeah, I do too. It's very, it's very strange. And the doctor's office, you see a lot of, you know, those little houses where it says doctor here and doctor there. There uh -huh. was almost no cars at the doctor offices. The shops were mostly empty. Um, it was just so weird, <laughs> but interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Don, I, just continue if you like. I, um, I just want to say before Don continues, uh, for the meditation, we should make uh, like Ruth uh, last time she shared her um, technique of meditation, and that is yeah. very helpful for other people to hear. Different people uh, have different meditations. Yeah, that's and a great topic. I wanted to ask today, and uh, yes. If we can spend five minutes uh, 
one person at a time at a hangout just to share a technique of meditation and what he sees and what he feels. That it would be nice. That's a fabulous idea because I think it was Buddha that said there's several different kinds of meditations. 91. You could, huh? I thought he said 91 ways to meditate. Oh, I don't know. I didn't hear that. I didn't either. Uh, I, but I heard that he said uh, there was a lot of different ways. And mm -hmm. so find the one, you know, you can use different meditations for different things. So it's very cool. So uh, different. There was, oops, sorry, Jim, carry on. No, go ahead. Um, I was going to say, um, one, of the, one of the most, um, what I found was important things that Saibo said yesterday was to play the dream and just, just live as if you are you are in the dreamland because for all we know we are asleep right now yeah so you may as well just live your life as as if you were wanting your dream to be like that he said yeah. you your imagination definitely the imagination when I'm in the meditative state on the other side uh, my meditation usually come uh, ends with a, a uh, with a, a feeling that I'm getting asleep and when I finally get asleep I wake up here that happens every time. Cool. That's very cool. Well, um, are we gonna? Are we about ready to wrap up? I think Dan has a few more things to say. Oh, Go ahead. No, no, that's that's all I've I've written down from Cybo's uh, channeling yesterday. I believe that's everything that was mentioned. There's probably quite a few other things that could be specific to each of you, so I suggest looking through it. But okay, if one yeah. thing, it's, it's another two hours. Line. It's online now. It's online. Now. Is it posted and published out there now? I think it is. Yes. Okay. Good. I, I want to see. But on the new uh, channel that Nix has on YouTube. Oh yeah, it's on the Present Testaments YouTube site. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also on Facebook as well. If you search the Present Testaments, you'll find his page. Currently updating it and getting it ready. Major Ravi, um, you created the page. Great, thank you. How about creating another group also? A group, the same group. If that's next wishes, yes. Uh, he doesn't understand yet. Uh, he is um, he's more like a hangout type. But uh, I highly recommend to create a, a group called whatever it is, the new, the present testaments group. So okay, what I suggest is Nick um, has, a, has a like page first. Everybody gets the like page, he gets an off audience, and then we create a group page. And then when people want to start discussing the things he talks about, then the group page gets created for when people want to talk about stuff. Wonderful. So, um, no a, point making the page now and then putting efforts into something that's not um, going to be right, used until why months I'm down the line. Yes, I explain why I'm in, why I'm in a hurry. Uh, he needs a way to announce his webinar so people know about those. Yeah, you can do that on his page. So Facebook would be Facebook group would be one of the best places where he could announce things. Yeah, he has that. He has that capability. So how does he announce that now? He gets on his page that I made for him. You are also an admin as well. You can announce it as well yes. if you want to, if he's away or something like that. But people or wouldn't get the notices, right? People would not get the notices if he creates something on his page. Would people get email not notifications about that? Um, if they signed up for the notifications, yes. I think in the group it's easier to sign up than on the page. On the page, I don't think. Oh, you okay. Are. Well, also th the best thing to do there is to actually create events. You create an yes. event. On and the events are created on the group. That's why I promote the ah, idea. Well, I see. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I was very technical here. Uh, he needs a yeah. way to announce his uh, new hangouts and events on the group would be the you know one of the easiest ways. And it is free and lots of people are on 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 Facebook. So that's one of okay. the. Okay. I'll work on that for you. Thank you much. Okay. Alrighty. And here, here is uh, uh, one of the meditation techniques. I was taught here by here in Rochester by Lisa O'Shea, which is Qigong master in the institute, uh, the founder. So you breathe in, raise your hands, and push the energy down as you breathe out. Then you breathe in, 
and push the energy down. And you can do it while standing, while sitting, while laying down. And if you in the meeting and you run out of energy, you can do it even without moving the hands. Just imagine your imaginary hands moving like that, and the energy moves down. And especially it helps with the digestions and heartburn. If you lay down and you have a heartburn and your digestion is acting up on you, do that. You can breathe in, and as you breathe out, you move the energy down from the sun to your head, through your chakras, down the root, and then to the to the earth. Now, if you want, if you one part of you hurts and you need to send energy there, same thing. In suck in the energy from the universe, the universal rake energy, and then send it to any part of the body which hurts. Just as you in exhale, you send it there, and imagine it's kind of warming up, glowing, and the energy kind of becomes a, a ball of golden healing energy glows around that part. That has amazing healing properties. And now I invite Jim to give us a blessing. <laughs> Uh, Max, we can't see your picture at all. We couldn't. I couldn't watch you explaining that. Can anybody else? I don't know why. It was supposed. We see us yeah, clearly. Yeah, I saw it. Ah, I, can, I can't see you. You can't. Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. Can you see now? How many fingers yeah. do I show? Now you're visible. Now, now I can see Some. you. Now. But when you explain, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, so, so today's connection is not good. Next time we'll try to do it better. Okay. I think today yeah. I'm going to do a blessing. Oh, did you want to say something, Gabriel? It's it's on the recording, so you can watch that. All right. Okay. Up to the end of the recording. Okay, good. Do that. I just today I'm I'm feel led to um, give to have a blessing for all of you. Thank you. I just say, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for your love, your understanding, your goodness, your kindness. Bless these people. Give them a, a greater understanding of what it is that they are doing towards raising the vibration of the world. Give them a purpose that is greater than what they ever imagined. And uh, let their um, light shine so brightly. As it is now, um, I just pray and thank you for the coming days, this timeline, and a greater world to live in. Much love to all of you. Much love to all of you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jim. Same thank to you. you. Thank, thank you, Max. Thank you, Jim. Thanks. Thank you, Max. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, everyone. I love That's you. Awesome. Thank you very much. I love you all. I love you, Mike, Ellie, Dick, Ben, wonderful. <laughs> Jaguar, Rowe, Mary, and everybody. As uh, Aha Takini likes to say, for all of you who are watching and all of you who will watch in the future. <laughs> cool. Namaste. Namaste.